Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Adobe After Effects. We are going to talk about creating a motion path using a Bezier shape. Now, I was doing this the other day and I noticed this kind of uh, issue. I don't know if it's a little bug or a little quirk here with After Effects, but uh, what I was trying to do is create a path right in the center of my comp and then have the object revolve around the path. For some reason, when I was applying the path to the object, I was having this kind of offset where I couldn't get it to happen right in the center of the comp. And uh, I figured out what was causing that, and I'm going to show you via this tutorial how to remedy that situation. An important thing to remember with shape layers, there's the position of the actual layer, and then there's the position of the shape within that layer. All right, so let's get started with this tutorial. We're going to go with a new composition like so. I'm going to go ahead and use this, uh, this gray. I like a middle gray for the background. I'm just going to name it Comp 1 for this. Um, let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit. And you can see that's a, a middle gray background, but it's actually transparency. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to select the ellipse tool up here. Okay. And we're going to make sure that Bezier path is checked. Okay. And what that's going to do is when we drag out our lips, it's going to create a path. Now on the fill, I want no fill. So we're going to click on fill. We want no fill, stroke one, that's fine. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag this out. And if we hold shift, it's gonna uh, be a perfect circle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop that right there. Uh, we're gonna give it uh, anchor point. This is reposition anchor point. This is actually a script from AE Scripts. This is one of my favorite scripts. I know there's other shortcuts to position your anchor point in the middle. And I know actually in After Effects by default, you can make it so it sets the anchor point to the middle of the shape now. But I just just love clicking on this and hitting reposition. It just I don't know. It's just a peace of mind to me. I think. Uh, but this this thing is a uh, AE scripts. It's uh, it's a name your own price. This is free. I think I I put five or ten bucks in here what I could afford at the time. But just a super straightforward, lovely uh, little script here, and it's constantly docked right next right below my align panel. So we're also going to align this top to bottom. Okay. So there we are. We have a path right in the center of our comp. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rename this. We're going to rename it PATH, all caps even. Um, and then we're also, let's just go ahead and switch this to red. That way we can see it very distinct. And you can see it point, a one pixel stroke actually. So it appears as a, a shape with a one pixel stroke. But in fact, it's just representative of, of a path. This is a, because we clicked Bezier PATH, we can now use this as a path. And what makes that different is when you open this up, under the path option, you only have path. That's the difference But when you check uh, Bezier path. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and bring um, uh, the JSILO 6 into After Effects. This is what we're going to put on the path. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. And uh, let's drop this into the comp. And you can see it's super huge, so we're going to have to uh, hit S, scale this down quite a bit. Whoa, not that much, though. There, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid right there. Okay, and then we're also going to, again, reposition the anchor point to the center, reposition this right in the middle of the comp, and then go to our selection tool. And what's great about the new uh, After Effects CC is you can actually put on snapping. And so if you click right on this anchor point, you can get it to snap perfectly where you need it. Now... What I want to do is I want this uh, silhouette of me. Hey, look, it's Chill Computer Guy. Oh, my God, look at there. I want to rotate around this path, okay? But I want, the important thing is I want this right in the center of the comp, okay? In other words, this is the very center of the comp. And so to do that, what I need to do is I want to, uh, first off, hit P. Make sure my J Silo 6 PNG is selected. Hit P. That's going to open up the position property. Now, under the path option, this is where things get complicated. The content of the path is an ellipse, and then within that is the path, and then here's the actual path right here. So what you want to do, you want to make sure path is highlighted. Hit Control-C on your keyboard, and then go down here to position and hit Control-V, okay? And what that's done is it's applied this path to that position. But you'll see that there's an offset that has occurred here. Um, let's go ahead and turn this layer off. And you can see that the path is not in the center anymore. So if we play this animation here, you can see that the path is not in the middle. Let's go ahead and uh, what we'll do is deselect these. And these are roving keyframes. So if we stretch these out to... Uh, 
you know, a little bit longer, let's say six seconds here. Uh, let's go ahead and lower this down and then let's right click and let's go uh, trim comp to work area. Um, but you can see that this is going around this path, but this path is not in the center of the comp. It's just, it's not, you know. So if we turn the stroke of the path on, you can see that the actual uh, path and the actual shape, they're offset. Why is that? What's causing that? Now, the thing is, is this caused me quite a bit of distress because I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on. I couldn't figure out when I set the anchor points to the middle of the shape and I set the shape to the middle of the comp, why am I getting this offset? And I figured it out, and that's what I'm going to actually share via this video. And what is going on here is let's go ahead and open up the path. Now, the path, you have the contents, the ellipse, the path, the stroke, the fill, but then there's transform ellipse, which is down here. So you have transform ellipse, and then you have transform again. So this transform represents the layer. Okay, so when we put our anchor point to the middle and we use our align tool to put this path perfectly in the center of the comp, that affected this transform property. However, the transform property above it is specific to the actual path we created. So let's go ahead and close that transform property because that transform property is fine. The problem is occurring in the sub transform, the actual eclipse transform. If you open this up, you can see that the anchor point zeroed out. So that's, that's perfect. Everything else is 100. Everything else is zeroed out. But look at the position here. The position is, is not zeroed out. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to the position and right click and hit reset. Okay. And you can see everything is now zeroed out. So now what you need to do is you need to again, I only do this for my reassurance. You need to reposition your anchor point and then you need to make sure that that's in the middle of the comp. Now you can see, even though we use the align tool and the reposition anchor point, all these things stayed zeroed out. In other words, it did not affect the position value of the transform ellipse, the sub uh, property, if you will. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to this layer we need to hit the stopwatch on the position and uh, property. And what that's going to do is it's going to eliminate all the keyframes. And then we have to do the whole thing over. We have to reposition the anchor point. We have to make sure this is in the center. And you don't really need to even, even put this on the anchor point. You can just leave it in the center. The main thing that is important, you can even put this thing clear over here. It doesn't matter. The only thing that's important about this is that the anchor point is in the middle. Okay? Um, the thing with me putting it in the middle and in positioning it perfectly on the anchor point. That's my own neurosis. That's something that you don't even need to do. That's just me being neurotic and being a, a little bit of a, uh, just, just neurotic. Those, those are unnecessary steps. So now we're going to repeat steps of, I don't know, 26 through 39 or whatever. We're going to make sure that the, uh, that the current time indicator is at the very beginning. What this is going to do is create roving keyframes here. So again, let's go back to the, uh, let's go ahead and close all this down. We're back to contents ellipse path. Make sure that's selected. Hit control C. And what that'll do is it will copy that path. And then we want to make sure we're down to JSILO 6, which is the uh, object that we want to rotate around the path. Make sure position is highlighted. Hit control V. And now you can see that it's perfectly in the center of our comp. And again, you can deselect and then click on the very last keyframe and stretch those out. That, that'll just slow the animation down. And now you can see if I play this, you can see that we're perfectly in the center of the comp now. Isn't that beautiful? When you reset the anchor point and reset the, uh, the, the align tool right to the center, that's only affecting the layer. It's not affecting the transform ellipse position property within that layer. And so you need to go within the layer, go within the transform ellipse property within that layer and zero all that stuff out before you center your anchor point and center your shape in order to get this to rotate perfectly in the center, perfectly around the path like you would expect it to given all the steps that you did previously. Now, there's another thing here. You'll see this object is straight up and down. There's a way to actually position this um, based on where it is at on the path. Now, you can see that it stays going along the path, but there, the position 
of J Silo 6 is straight up and down. How to fix this is make sure, make sure that the object is selected and then all you got to do is you got to right click, go down to transform down to the very bottom and click on auto orient. What that's going to do is it's going to set the orientation of the shape based on where it's at on the path. Let's go ahead and click that now. You're going to get this pop-up window right here. Auto orientation, it's automatically by default set to off. What you want to do is set that to orient along path. And that's going to orientate the object based on where it's at on the path. So if you click OK now, you can see that now I'm kind of upside down, but I am facing the center. And so there I go. I'm, sp I'm getting dizzy here. I'm spinning out of control. Now, if you don't like this stroke here, you can just turn off the path layer. Uh, because you had Bezier selected before you created that layer, it's only using the path. So you can actually turn this off. Now you can just turn that layer completely off because there's nothing visually going on with that layer. It's basically only representing a path. And so that's how you do it. There it is, right in the center of the comp. It's not being offset by default, and that's how to do it. Anyway, Chill Computer Guy here, uh, doing motion graphics now more. I will be getting back to the music tutorials. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, tell a friend about the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Like I say, I do all the, uh, the Adobe products. I also do uh, Propeller Head Reason. Uh, we're going to do Bitwig Studio tutorials. I have a lot of those coming up. I just got to finish them, get them published. And, um, but like I say, I've been super busy, so haven't had a lot of content on the channel, but I have been gaining subscribers every day. So to all those subscribers, I do appreciate your interest in my content. And like I say, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more wonderful content, and, uh, we'll see you guys again. Thanks now.